Silvio and this is a part 4 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorials series. You are certainly thinking that there are too many unfinished steps going on, but it has to be like this. The project is entirely based on a continuous chain of subsequent tasks. Before ending the first one, you need to start at least five or six of them. And only when approaching the end of the project, you will start and finish one task at a time. Let's continue with the riverbed, hoping that the extra sections of panel added don't make the landscape unwatchable. And finally, I can work on the riverbed. I've just uh, quickly uh, reported uh, on uh, the paper uh, some uh, uh, reference measurements I need to follow because I want this exact same uh, situation replicated on the panel and I want it to perfectly fit under the bridge down there. Then I will start carving the riverbed and making the slope. The first cutting is done. I can deny that I don't like uh, at all this section because there is too little space between the train tracks and the riverbed. But uh, I can't do anything right now. It is a problem that I need to face uh, lately. And uh, the, under the main bridge, the situation isn't as disgusting as I thought it could be. Certainly we have uh, too many squared angles at the moment, but I can always uh, modify the overall look of the riverbed. Let's uh, go ahead with the uh, carving. <music>
This is the final result of the carving of the first segment of the riverbed. I've started with a minimum of depth and the slope, then I've increased them all along the path. And I've also added a little rock 
here in the middle of the river just for fun. It could be interesting to see what will happen to the water flow when it reaches this point. We'll see later. And I've come to the end of the panel with practically no more thickness to carve into. So it was a right decision to use a panel having a thickness of 4 cm. I let and touched this little section of panel because each time I overlap a panel on top of the previous one I need a flat surface to glue the two panels between them and it also prevented the water uh, from leaking all over the place. Imagine that I will have continued here the carving, now I will have flat surface carving, flat surface, even uh, gluing the second panel on top of this one, the water will have leaked under the second uh, panel. It will be clear in a few minutes. So now let's uh, put the uh, panel in place where it belongs. Let's just move a little bit to the uh, camera right there. Here we go. Now it's time to continue with the second segment of the riverbed. As I said just a few seconds ago, I will start by overlapping here a second panel, then I will carve into it some more straight centimeters of path before starting a curve that will change once again the direction of the riverbed. I will continue straight for some more centimeters before adding uh, um, maybe three, four or five more uh, panels, one on top of the other, and get uh, the waterfall I've spoke you about uh, some time ago. It will be over and over again the same process. So I will try to get to the end of both the riverbed and the waterfall without any more interruptions. I just will need to measure some panels, to cut some panels, to dig into some panels and to overlap some panels. Just simple and easy operation. So uh, I will have a final recap when all this will be done.
For the first time, you won't see any upgrade to the village during the outro. Maybe just some little spoilers if you are good observers. This is because I've shot too many hours of work without editing anything. And I don't want the video to be too long. My bad. The highlights of this fourth part of the tutorial are the carving technique I use and how I've incorporated the tube from the main water container into the waterfall source, as you have just finished to see a couple of minutes ago. As of now, the river and the waterfall are completed, with some twists, obviously. Will they work? I think you'll have to wait for next video to get an answer. Oh man, I love solving problems. Anyway, for the first time, I will also ask you to subscribe and give thumb up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and if you wish, see you next time.